Last time these two teams met, it was a win for Ottawa Glandorf. And Shawnee looked to reverse that early. How about Caden Vermillion? Back from injury, knocking the triple down to get the scoring going. 3 0 Shawnee early in this one. Ethan Alt for the Titans, matching on the other side with a three ball of his own, ties this one up at three in the early going. Brennan Levins for OG, getting in on the party downtown. Early 6 3 lead for Ottawa Glandorf. But they get it working down low. How about George Mangus corralling this, puts it up under the basket, getting the and one. Mangus with a big night tonight. How about getting behind the defense on this play and getting the easy bucket there, putting Shawnee only down by one at this point off the miss for a million, firing cross court, and Mangus behind the D to say the least. 37 points tonight for George Mangus underneath again off the dime from John Barker and more points out would tie it up at 11. Ben Westrick for OG, putting them back on top with the flush. Getting them scoring here. And then Barker with a three ball, almost from Route 198, giving Shawnee the lead. Shawnee the win tonight, 65 to 53 over Ottawa Glandorf. After the game, Mark Shine caught up with Shawnee coach Mark Triplett, who credited his team's defense for the win and the community for the support. Our post players, we knew how good they were on the inside. They're 6'6, 6'7, 6'7. Um, we've seen them just absolutely dominate teams on the inside. And, and we have what we think are three pretty daggone good post players, too. And we challenged those guys. And we said, you know, if we're getting out worked and we're getting out hustled, um, then it's going to be a long night for us. So those guys took that to heart. They battled every second. It, it wasn't always perfect. It wasn't always pretty. But um, I, I thought we, we played a, about as hard as we could. And I was very proud of them in that. So proud of our kids and, and so appreciative of the community that has rallied around these guys. Um, you know, these guys have put in a lot of work, and it's been a long time since, since that ha that's happened. And I think that the emotion in the community has collectively kind of been there waiting for that moment to happen. And when it finally did, this place just erupted. Um, so proud of our kids and, and their work they put in. And, um, you know, we need to stay humble and stay hungry, but, but I think that uh, tonight's a fun one.